Welcome back my YouTube friends. So, you saw me doing this video, if not, go have a look. I did on my iPad, but for some reason I wanted to do this one finishing with my hand. We're going to be using these markers. I got a few pencils there, here and there. If you haven't seen how I drew this one, go have a look. I did an iPad, I get the girl's face, added extra bits and did with that. But for finishing reasons, I don't know why, but I printed this out. And uh, we will finish by hand. I, somehow I prefer, you know, I like that mix where I can do both digital and by hand. I think it, it's essential to know both skills, how to do it. It just depends where, if you've been thrown somewhere in your life where you can't use one or can't use another one, you still got the skills to do it both. So sometimes I just love it to do by hand. So what we're gonna do is, I, I, I like to do hot and cold. You know that and I always tell you what I do. So I'm gonna do hot and cold. So basically her face gonna be nice and warm. I'm gonna do really, really blue green leaves and uh, maybe yellow spicy orange rose or something like that. So mostly people say go from the color wheel, the opposite colors. Whereas the blue, there's a uh, yellow there, where it's red, there's green. You know, I hate it. I hate that. I don't like those colors being next to each other. I proper hate it. So I, I like to do hot and cold. I like when it's icy blue or really cold blue green and then put next to like really nice orange and, and red burning. because this paper is really thin it bleeds a lot literally like spreads out so what you do is you go literally to the leave about four mil distance draw it and then it'll bleed till it's gonna touch the black line so that's how you get good effect like clean effect on really really thin paper really thin this is so you color literally right above it about there but you don't touch the black line yet, he's going to bleed to the black line. Yeah, remember that. Thin paper, that's how you do it. Show it so what you do is get big areas first and let it... Uh, dry basically you do the big sections you move on to next section next section next section next section next section and when it dries yeah then you can see where did he go to the black line where did he stop before the black line and then you just go with the I got ah oh, where is it? so first you go with a big section I don't know shizzle what they call it don't know don't know the name for it but anyway so you first you go that one you feel all the big section then you see and you watch where did he touch the black line or he didn't touch the black line if he didn't touch the black line you go with this small one oh, it doesn't focus now it focus so then you go and just feel like a little small sections there and there and just make it really neat and nice and clean so if you go carefully this is how it should look it looks like it's been done digital but you did you just did that by hand and for next one i reckon i'm gonna jump on the hands for no, hand yeah hand and the face basically body color I'll get all that in one one section. One First I wanted to make one tone only for the whole face and for the whole arms, but then I realized why why not? I added few, I did darker, dark and that soft light. 
and if you watch again you'll see where I use those and uh, then I realized I want to make a bit more interesting so my plan was I think I'm gonna go with this pro marker blue for the rose I just why not you know what I mean it's one of those like if this is really dead warm I'm gonna make nice soft more I'm gonna add more red into the makeup probably icy blue eyes red lips uh, probably will go with dark end dark red end fingers one of those and then why not blue rose I think it looks awesome and then with this one I'm gonna probably go with like spicy red or something what pushes out so you notice there's something on her neck because the whole thing is quite big and yeah so let, let's go for the blue on the rose This is what you gotta do, you gotta do literally color till it almost touches the line, but it doesn't. And then you, you know these people and they say, oh it's so interesting to watch him paint dry. So that's literally what you gotta do, you gotta watch till the paint dries. So what I do, I just go to different section or do other bits and bobs. So by the time I come back all this is dry and then I can crack on. Same I did with this one, that was still a bit wet and that air was still wet i didn't want to wait and see what happens or blah 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 i just went for that blue rose so i'm gonna leave that one to dry a little bit or yeah and then gonna probably add some brown in here brown in there i just realized i haven't done the stem here so i need to add that one there because it's one of those like sometimes you just forget and uh gonna add some brown in there brown in there brown in here and then i don't know what to do with her Hair. what color should I go for that one because I don't want to make it like too rainbow looking as well so don't know I'll come up with something And I just wanted to add something to this. Basically, this is how you get your own style. What I mean is, you make your own decisions. You decide what color is going to be there. You make decisions of placements. You make decisions of eye color. You make decisions of a shading. I know there's no red necks in real life. I know there's no red fingers in real life. I know there's no blue roses in there. But you know what? I want it and I'll make it happen and I'll make it look good. So that's how you create your own style. You make decisions. You are the boss. You make the lines, you make the shading, you add the colors, the saturation, the not saturation, how clean you want, how big you want, whatever you want. You know what I mean? Like whatever you want. Yeah? You want your style, your skill, your knowledge, your understanding, whatever you want to do, you do it. And that's how you get your style. Yeah? I just wanted to add that while I was doing the finger, so I was like, I gotta say this to you guys, I gotta say this, so that's how you get it.
Taking 